So in case I wanted to change the units, how can I do it? I would uh, close everything because if you if you have a file open, it doesn't change them on all the other files. It changes them only in the specific file. But you have nothing open and you change something, it will change for everything. So edit and preferences. And then you go down to measurements, which is found down here. And you can set these to centimeters by centimeters, if you like. All right, so now your units are in centimeters. All right, so what I want to do now is, uh, first of all, talk about linking text, which is how do I flow text from one text box to another. And uh, I'm going to open the newsletter that you worked on last time. So that's page one down here. And I have an article that's starting here, and it should finish there, for example and maybe continue here and finish there and so forth so how do I get text to flow from one text box to another first I'll change the title for example I'll type typography all right and uh, here, since I'm going to continue my article, I'm not going to be adding any title. For example, so I remove these. I'm going to go to article here and choose utilities and jabber so it will add something here up to the end but let's say that I had more so I'm gonna copy this control C all right and press control V to paste so now I have a lot of text which cannot be visible all at once so I need to link these two text boxes so that text flows from one box to another and if I want to continue using other text boxes. The way to do it is very simple. You click on the linking tool. You click on the first text box, it gets dashed out. And then you click on the second one. So now I see that the text continues the flow and I lost my overflow over here. So let's actually, just to make sure, remove this. And I'm going to remove this sentence and I'm going to type something myself. This line is starting in the first text box. You see that box continued here, although I didn't do anything, and continues in the second so this is just to show you that you do ha actually have flow from one to another and I pasted the rest over here now that's good because um, you can just grab your text from wherever you wrote the text and paste it in and it will flow between your linked text box easily yeah now if you click on the link tool again you will see what text boxes are linked to each other so if I press Control minus here, I see that I just have these two linked, but the other ones are not linked. I can, if I like, continue. So I can grab this and link it with that one. Yeah, because I cannot link it now because it already contains text. So I need to do that before I add the text. But otherwise, let's select this one here. Um, just deselect. No, that's not the master. That's page one, two, three, four, five, and so forth. I have six pages down here. If I wanted to get the master, I have to click here and then select the master. That's the master page. Or double click there. 
All right, so again, to link something, you select, uh, in this case, this one. It's one text box, and here I have two, so I can select this and link from here to there. Um, let's see, because I have text here, so I need to um, remove the text, as I did before, in order to link. So again, click and then click, and now these are linked. And again, if I click on my link tool, I see that. So it's very important that the box you are linking to not to contain any text, otherwise it won't work. It will give you the error. Um, again, just to repeat the testing, if I zoom over here, I am here. So if I just paste it in two, three times, I'll see that it continues there and so forth. So that's linking text.